Hi, this is Eric from Data Habits. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do campaign tagging in Google Analytics. Let's get started. So campaign tagging is the idea of adding some information to the links that you send out, whether it's to your email list, to your Facebook followers, your Twitter followers, or any ads that you do that send people back to your website. And it's really important to add this information so that uh, afterwards you can tell in Google Analytics how effective those promotional efforts were. So I'm going to show you how to step by step how to track a Facebook post in Google Analytics. Now really there's just three things that you need to do. Find the link to your website that you're going to promote on Facebook. Answer four questions and then add that information, add those campaign tags to your link before you post it to Facebook. So let's get started with step one. So here's the blog post that I want to promote on Facebook, the single most important report in Google Analytics. Now it's on my blog and I want to post it to Facebook and what I want to be able to tell is how many people click through from that Facebook post and end up signing up for the free uh, tutorials I offer on my site. So the first step is to find the link that I want to promote. It's right here. Uh, there's the URL. I copy it and I'm ready for step two. So our next step is to answer some questions about how we're going to promote the link. And here are the four questions that I'm going to answer. First is who is viewing this? What sort of list of people? Is it my Facebook followers, my Twitter followers? Am I sending it out to my email list? Or am I running an ad? So what group of people is going to see this? The next is what's the marketing channel or the method that I'm going to use? Is it sending it out via email? Is it just through social media? Or is it, a, is it an ad campaign? What's sort of the method that I'm going to do to promote this? Then why am I posting? Sort of the overall objective. In this case, it's blog promotion. Um, and finally, the name of the message, the particular piece of content so that at the end of the month I can tell which pieces of content uh, performed the best. So here are my answers. In this case, I'm promoting this to Facebook. So uh, the list of who is viewing this are my Facebook followers. This is social media, so I'm calling it social. It's not promoted social posts. It's not sent out through email. So I'm going to call it social in this case. Uh, why am I posting? The overall sort of campaign objective is blog promotion, so I'm going to give it that name. Finally, this particular piece of content, it references the blog post title and the date, uh, the month and year that I'm posting this. Notice that in my case, all of these are lowercase. There's no capital letters in any of these. You can add capital letters, but uh, as long as you're consistent uh, and you're always doing capital letters or you're always doing lowercase, I've chosen to always do uh, lowercase in terms of answering these questions. I'm hoping you'll see why by the end of this uh, video. So now that we've answered these four questions, it's time to move on to step three, adding these campaign tags uh, to the links that we send out. And so we need to uh, translate them into campaign tags. And here's how that works. The answer to who is viewing this becomes the source. The marketing channel or the method of sending them out becomes the medium. Uh, why are we posting? The ongoing campaign we do becomes a campaign. Finally, the name of that particular piece of content that we're promoting becomes the content tag. So here's how it looks again. If you recall, our source is Facebook. That's, you know, who's going to view this is Facebook. The method that we're using or the marketing channel, the medium is social. Uh, why are we posting? Uh, in this case, it's blog promotion. It's a campaign we do all the time. It's sort of almost always running. It's blog promotion. And finally, the name of the content, that particular blog post that we are promoting, it's going to be top report uh, and the date. There's lots of different ways to add this information to the links you send out. We're going to be looking at 
uh, one in particular. Here, there's two examples here. The Google URL builder, there's the address to it. That's something that Google provides, but there's also a Chrome browser plugin. This is my favorite way to add campaign tags to links. And I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through this second one, the Chrome browser plugin. So we're back at the uh, blog post that we wanna promote and we visit the page. And since we're using the Chrome plugin to do this, it's up here and I click on it and it opens up. It's the Google Analytics URL Builder Chrome plugin. It's already got the URL to share. It's this blog post. Now the source, if you recall, Facebook, the medium is social because it's social media term we could add. We're not going to this time. The actual content is top report dash 06 dash 2015. Finally, the campaign, the thing that we do every week, ongoing blog promotion final URL. Now we can copy it to clipboard and we're ready to go. That, that URL is here. Copy it to clipboard and we're ready to now post to Facebook. So if you're curious, this is what the link that you just tagged looks like. I know it just got a whole lot bigger. Don't be too worried about that. You can still shorten this link in a lot of different uh, link shorteners like Bitly and other uh, technologies that support it. And the key thing is that the person who clicks on this link isn't really going to see anything different. They're still going to go to that blog post. But Google Analytics is going to have a lot more information about where they clicked it and when. They'll see that it not only comes from Facebook, but they'll know that it wasn't a paid post. It was a, just a social post. They'll know which uh, post in Facebook it was and what sort of part of promotional campaign it is the blog promotion campaign. So we take this link and our last step is to post it to Facebook to send people back to our blog. So here I am ready to create this post to Facebook that's going to send me to my latest blog post. So here it is. If you only look at one piece of information in Google Analytics, what should it be? The latest post on datahabits.com walks you through this report, what it is, how to set it up, what it's trying to tell you. So then I paste in my long URL that I just tagged, and voila, it sends people to my blog. And you'll notice that when people click on this, I'll get a lot more information about where they're coming from. So there you have an introduction to campaign tagging adding a bit of information to the links that you send out by email or social media and that gives Google Analytics a lot more information about who's clicking on those links and what they're doing once they come to your website. It really is the most powerful technique that you can do in Google Analytics when you're doing online marketing. This along with the next tutorial I'm going to show you which is segments really shows you uh, the effectiveness of your online outreach. One more thing I want to share with you, and that is at this link is a, a downloadable PDF that will show you sort of a one-page uh, cheat sheet to see all the things we covered here today, the questions and how they turn into campaign links, and just give you a, a one-page guide for this campaign tagging. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you check out the next tutorial on campaign segments. And uh, thanks.